Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Dino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm going to teach you how to carve with your inline skates. In case you don't know what carving is, well, carving is basically a way of turning with both feet on the ground where you are going to use the edges of your skate. Let me explain you that. But before I explain you that, let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And in case you don't know what Skillshare is, well, Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can basically learn everything. Like, if you want to learn how to make YouTube videos, well, one of the best YouTubers in the world has a course on how to YouTube. Even I have a course on how to skate. So if you're a beginner and if you want to get into inline skating, make sure to go check Skillshare. The first 1000 people to click on the link in the description of this video will have access to a 30 days trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So make sure to not miss this one. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's learn how to carve. So the first thing that you need to know is when you want to learn how to carve, let me first just show you what carving is. Just going from whoop. here, I was turning left. When I turn left, what happens is my left foot goes on the outside edge, my right foot goes on the inside edge. Basically, I go like this. A lot of people try to do this, but the most important thing here is you actually need to have the right foot in front. If you don't have the right foot in front, it's what's going to happen is you're going to feel like you're going to get stuck. So, if I want to turn left, I always need to bring my left foot in front. Okay? So when I carve left, I have my left foot in front. When I carve right, I have my right foot in front. For some people, it might not be as easy. So a good exercise that we can do would be just rolling with one foot in front of the other. So just doing something like this could help just rolling with one foot in front rolling with the other foot in front this would be our first progression once you can do this the next progression that we would want to do would be the foot that is in front you want to be on the heel only so if you are able to do this you're going to be able to carve it's as simple as that i'm going to now talk about turning left, okay? So I'm gonna put my left foot in front and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about spinning my toe to that side. When I spin my toe to that side, I do not want to open my legs and this is a very common mistake. When people do that, they tend to go there. So that's why we spoke about having your feet almost in a line. When that foot goes there, you want to follow with the back foot. To be able to follow with the back foot, you're gonna to need to know how to use your hips and your upper body. And most of the time, if I go on, on detail, it's gonna be very weird for most of you to understand. So the easiest thing would be, just think like you have someone here on the side. If I'm turning left, I have someone here on the side, and I just wanna to touch him with the side of my hip. So if I touch it with my side of my hip, then I'm doing the right movement with my hips. Then the next thing would be the upper body. What I always say is like, we should always just think that we have a huge truck handlebar on our hand. So if we turn the handlebar, just also check what happens to my hips. I go to the side. Now, all we would need to do would be foot in front, boom. Hip to the side, we're good to go. Very important, your knees don't necessarily need to be extremely bent but as we said on the previous video on the previous video on this outdoor skate series very important to have your shins against the front of your skates especially on the back foot it's going to be hard to do that on the front foot but on the back foot you want to be like here on the front foot you want to be like there so it's actually an easy movement to do check this out just go from here and a very common mistake that happened here is that people do the beginning of the movement, they go a little bit to the side, but then they go out. So if, you, if I just do this, if I just go to the side, I feel like my skates start turning, but then I don't know what else to do. And that's when it's very, very important to keep the movement. That's why it's so important to, to think that you have the handlebar, because you don't turn the handlebar once and come back to normal. You turn the handlebar and you keep that position going. So that's what we got to do. Check once again. Just gonna put my left foot in front, turn the handlebar, 
and I'm carving. Now, from here, what's happening is even without you realizing when you do this hip turn, if you look at your leg, you're gonna see that this leg is actually telling you where you're going. Check this out. When I put my left foot in front and I turn my hip, my hip goes there, my knee is there, meaning that my leg is in a direction where I wanna go. And that's about it. Of course, if you have your knees more bent, when you twist your hip, you will see it a little bit more evident. Your skates will also react a little bit more. But that's about it. Carving on skates, it's, it's about following all these steps. And once you can do it with a front wheel in the air, all you need to do, it's basically the same, but with the front wheel down. Let me show you. If I can do this, I can also do this. It's the exact same. I need to know that on my front foot, the weight is on my back wheel. Of course, the front wheel can also come down and with time, you're gonna put more and more pressure on the front wheel. But while you're starting, and just for you to understand this movement, this edging thing, then you're gonna to need to be on the back wheel or at least apply more pressure on the back wheel. Now, something that never works is if you put your foot in front and if you try to stay on the inside edge, on the inside of your wheels, it's not gonna happen. Check this out. If I try to do this, this is not gonna allow me to turn. This is one very common mistake. The other common mistake is you start with the left foot in front and then you put the other foot in. And then you switch the foot that you have in front. Of course, you're gonna be able to turn, but you won't be able to be on the right edge of each skate. So, yes, turning left, left foot in front, right foot in the back, on the front foot while you're starting, more weight on the back wheel. Twist your hips, imagine that you have an handlebar on your hands, like a huge truck handlebar, just turn it slowly and keep that position until you are in the direction that you want. Once you are in that direction, you're gonna come back up, both shins against the front of the skates, and there you go. Now that you can do it left, let's do it right. It's the exact same. And there you go. I hope you guys learned something today. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And well, you can always give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, you can also give me a thumbs down, but don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know what you didn't like about this video. But like I always say, more important than anything else, just don't ever, like ever, ever forget why we all started skating and that, that is because it's fun now. Cheers and see you soon. Chef, ta feito, obrigado.